Oh, thanks. No problem. Right, I better get off, so I'll see you later, okay? See you later. Oh, we haven't had much time together lately, have we? No, we haven't. Okay, so I've got no school today, so why don't we meet up after I've finished at the Woolley? I'd love to, but I can't. I've got too much on here. Tonight, definitely. Are you sure? Sorry. Look, I better get off then. <laughs> Rob me down at the Woolley later on, won't he? Since I lost that bet. You probably won't even show up. <laughs> I'll see you tonight then. side of the bargain. Well, I'm a man of my word. <laughs> well, if I'd known that, I'd have come up with something better than glass collecting. <laughs> well, you could have had him lugging beer bowls around down in the cellar. Or scrubbing down the oven. Too late. This glass is for me. The truth is, Robert, I don't need you. You what? Not when I've got Katie. I'm assuming you want to stay as I'm paying you. Yeah. yeah. So, up off. Go and make mischief somewhere else. Well, I, I don't mind staying. No, you'll only be in the way here. Katie, love. Anne? Ah, just the man. What? Can you give me a hand with these? And the other load by the surgery? Yeah. No chance. Uh, Robert? Look, I've got plans. With what plans? Well, they involve my lunch and the telly. Oh. Andy, you're a gentleman. Can you help me out? Uh, sorry, I'm busy. <sighs> Rob, can I have a word? Yes, mate. I need a best man. And you want me to recommend someone? No, I want it to be you. Are you kidding? No, I'm not. Blimey. I didn't realise you had so few friends. <sighs> Stop messing about. Just say yes. That's probably only because you want a decent present. Say yes. Yes. Thanks. No, thanks for asking. I made a known before Nicola tries to grab me again. Do you want a coffee? No, I've got too many things to do. I'll see you later. Already. I slipped out. I thought we should probably talk about what happened yesterday. Yeah. We should definitely have a quiet little chat. Just the two of us. Are you on your own? Katie! Robert's best man. Best man? I didn't know that. Have you come to talk about the wedding? No. I can't right now, cos I'm working in the pub. Then why are you here? To arrange a time when we can meet up and talk about all that needs to be talked about. Well, there's not much point in coming back this afternoon because Victoria won't be here. I'm going to the farm with Dad to see the horses. So, you'll be all alone in the house then? No point in coming round? I'll be probably back this evening. OK. Right, well, I best get back to work. I'll see you later. Bye. Yeah. Bye, then. Good day yesterday, wasn't it? <laughs> it was great. I suppose the next big Sugden occasion will be a certain wedding. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> what do you think? Princess gown for that as well? well? Maybe. Or maybe you could dress as the Wicked Witch of the West. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, what? Katie, now, where's your head today? I'm oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> bit hungover by any chance? Yeah, just a bit. Pour yourself a glass of water. I'll go and find you an aspirin. Thanks. And this one likes apples. Have we got any apples? Oh, they're fine with what they've got, love. Can we ride them? Can we? No. I don't know which one's less mature. I do. It's not Victoria. <laughs> well, you seem to have coped with him all right. For now. But every day is another problem. <laughs> you sound like a parent. It's a big responsibility, son. I'll be a married man soon, Dad. I need to get used to responsibility. And Robert's agreed to be my best man. Oh, that's great. I love to see you two getting on. Does me hard good. <laughs> well, I expect you could use some money, couldn't you? Probably. 
Well, you don't have to sound so cautious. I'm not going to have a go at you. Are you? How about I give you access to some of your trust fund? I mean, I know you get it in a couple of months anyway, but let's say 5,000 straight away, as long as you only use it for the wedding. That'd be brilliant, thanks. A married man, eh? <laughs> Seems like only yesterday you were a Bolshe kid. No, yesterday it was your birthday. You remember? You were 56. <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> <laughs> you back then? Are you alone this time? It's just me and you. So Victoria's. Looking honest. at horses with my dad. Right. <clears throat> we were going to talk. That's right. We're going to talk about kissing. Best man. He asked me, and I said yes. How has this happened? Does it matter? 